Hi there learners and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be helping you prepare for the upcoming CAT final pack paper. So the only thing I'm really doing in this video is I want you to look at the 2020 paper, 2021 and 2022. And the reason for this is because we want to see if there's a trend that we can spot that can actually help us with regards to this particular paper. Okay. So let's look at 2020 and I'm going to go through and you can see all of them are three hours. All of them are 180 marks. So we know what to expect there. However, let's have a look at our question. So yes, you've got your data files. That's all fine. We're not concerned about that. What we want to see is if we can spot some things that are actually coming up year after year. So let's go through and I'm going to go to question one in each one of them so we can see. Right, there we are. So let's have a look at 2020. So in 2020, they want us to create a subfolder. They want us to add a comment. They want us to locate a file. They want us to delete a file. Um, then they've got an answer file. So that's a file on its own, and they want us to type out some answers. Sometimes they want us to copy and paste a picture in there. Um, and here we see we must put in some instructions, take a screenshot, and put it into that file. And then insert your exam number in the header, right? So that's 19 marks. That was in 2020. Let's have a look at 2021. 2021, they wanted me to enable file extensions. Ah, have a look at this. Take a screenshot. Insert the screenshot into the answers file and then crop that image. Very similar to what I saw in, here we go, 2020. Okay, let's continue. Sorting items, um, looking for the artist over here, the file size, um, the computer path they wanted in the document, create a subfolder move images so cut and paste and then here we go deleting a file similar to what we had in 2020 and then extract or unzip a file zip a file create a shortcut and set file attributes okay let's go and have a look at 2022 so 2022 sorting the contents there we go take a screenshot insert the screenshot um, show file extensions, determine the author, the file size. Can you see a trend emerging in question one? Right? Here we go again. Copy instead of cut. Move, that's cut. Extract the contents. Rename. Protect the document. Okay? Adjusting file attributes. Guys, do you see a trend from 2020? 2021 and 2022. So if that's the trend, what do you think is going to come through in 2023? Hmm. Let's go and have a look at Word. So in 2020, um, they had three sections to Word. Okay, question two, three, and four. So let's go and have a look here. Formatting headers and footers. Formatting an image. Drop caps. Alignment. Find and replace, modify headings, multi-level lists, hyperlinks, and modifying items in the header. So that's just the first section. Let's go and have a look at 2021. So 2021, page margins, styles, formatting an image. Did we see that in 2020? Yes, we did. Drop caps, captions. Creating and modifying a style. Um, bookmarks. Footnotes. Captions. Headings. Um, paragraph formatting with our indents and hanging indents. Formatting an image. Again, table of contents. Page numbers and protecting our document. Right, that was 2021. I have a look at 2022. Let's see. See what we can find here. Ah, page margins. <laughs> paragraph formatting. This whole section, paragraph formatting. Formatting an image. 
can you see it's been in all three years so you can expect to get that in your 2023 paper um located text so that's fine to place uh, they want you to put in a footnote again paragraph formatting um, alternate text a hyperlink exam number as the author to the document so changing the author page orientation um, columns column breaks let's see hyperlink inserting an image bookmarks guys can you see can you see yeah in the header section some formatting again in our headers um, yeah, we've got our bullet lists. They want us to split a table as well. And creating and modifying styles. Right, insert into our table. They want us to delete a row, convert content, track changes. That came up before. And mail merge. So can you see what's happened from 2020? Let me just go further through 2020. Have a look at that. Track changes. What did we see in 2022? Track changes. Then going through again, a hyperlink and a table of contents. And there is our mail merge. It was worth nine marks in 2020. Um, and then in 2022, it was worth five marks. But have a look at this. Word is worth like 53 marks. Okay. Um, Word has always been worth a lot of marks. Yeah, 2021, 53 marks. And in 2020, that was 9, that's 27, yeah, 47 marks. So you can see the trend that's happened in Word. So let's go and have a look and see. Is it going to be the same in Excel? Because this is, this is what we are seeing. So please prepare yourself accordingly. If it's been there in 2020, 2021, and 2022, the likelihood of it, of it coming through in 2023 is extremely high. Right, so let's have a look here. Um, date into the header, obviously your different formatting borders, um, full. What else did they want you to do? Uh, changing the printing settings, creating a chart. Um, yeah, also a chart. Um, working in another worksheet, working with a range, um, and your different functions, conditional formatting. And that's it for Excel. So that was 2020. Let's have a look at what they did in 2021. So again, functions. Obviously, that is going to be in there. Um, adjusting the view. Um, things like concatenate that comes up often your if your nested if your v lookup um, in some cases your x lookup as well and please check out the video on how to do that so working with percentages again um, let me just check through here your normal formatting centering the text horizontally and vertically Conditional formatting, again, do you see? It's there. It's there every time. Right? Now, you'll also see the pivot table. That came up. That came up in the prelims as well and macros. Let's have a look at 2022. 2022, renaming, merge and center, name for the data, conditional formatting. Headers and footers, right? Formatting a range, creating a chart. Let's go. Um, again, grid lines, applying a filter. There we go. Your pivot table. They want that pivot table. It's nice that they give you a picture as well. And then normally they'll give you, yes, here's our macro as well. Okay. So you can see the trend that comes through there. And yeah, they want the shortcut key for the macro as well. And they show you what they want it to look like. So if it came up in 2021 and 2022 and the prelims, you can expect macros 
you can expect a pivot table. Um, so please go through these papers. Right, let's have a look at database. Old, our nemesis access. Hmm. It's like an arch villain. Okay, so year without table, primary keys, combo boxes, validation rule, um, validation text, your input mask as well. Then changing the table's background, every alternate row. Uh, the length of a field, exporting the data. And that's just in your table. So let's have a look at 2021. Primary key, importing. Um, they want an input mask. Field size, right? Changing the data type. Combo box. Do you see the trend that's coming through? Let's have a look at 2022. Primary key. Again, input mask. Combo box. Validation rule and text. Default value. Okay. Can you see the same things are coming through? This one, required. Uh, this was the form. And the report. Oh, they didn't really have any queries here. So let me go to 2021. Our queries create a query showing all applicants who have not yet paid fees. So you're going to have that is null story or depending on if it shows a zero um, and only certain fields required. This one is asking you to create the query and to sort it. This one also showing the job titles and the total. Okay. Let's have a look at 2022, our queries display all provide three services, namely that. So there's your criteria. Again, um, creating a query, do not include companies with no web addresses. So again, queries with criteria. And this one is a calculated query. So a query with a calculated field. Again, I'm going to say, if they ask that in 2021 and 2022, expect it in 2023. Okay, let's have a look at our... Oh, there is a query in 2020. Okay, let's look at our forms. Let's see what they did in 2022 with the form. I should have asked you for a form in 2022. There we go. So for, you see here, 2022, just create a form. Insert a button in the header that closes the form when clicked. 2021. Do you see? Very little is asked. Create a form. Um, pop something in there. That's it. 2020. They wanted more from your form. So a form that has only these particular fields, change a text box, change a header, add a button. And do you see that in 2022? Insert a button. Okay, so I, I hope you are following me um, with regards to this. 2020 years a report. Now, as I mentioned in one of my TikToks that I'm busy uploading, um, the report, when you do your report, everything is basically done in that wizard. Because I can create a report according to these fields. I can group it. I can sort it. I can do all of that in the wizard. Then they just want me to insert a text box and add my exam number as a label. That's it. That's it. Let's look at, let's look at 2021. Um, my report. Again, okay. created with these fields. And then they want me to use some conditional formatting. And they want me to add a field to the report. That's it. 2022. Create the report. Group it. Display only those fields. Add the exam number as a label in the footer. Add an image in the header. Change the color of the header. Done. That's it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, they have a few more. Add a footer. Now, this is something that has come up regularly especially in prelims, a calculation in the footer. So do look into that. But you can see that's basically it.
Okay, and the last one is HTML. So let's have a look at 2020. In 2020, what did they want us to do? Because it's usually about 20 marks or so. So changing the background color, level one heading, centering the heading, adding an image, adding a hyperlink, changing the font, underlining certain text, um, and then obviously your table as well. Okay. 2021, what did they do? Document title, page background color, formatting the table, um, inserting an image, a hyperlink, um, a heading, a bullet list. Okay, so we can see that trend. Look here again, title, background color, color of the font, width of the table, font size, bullet list okay um a hyperlink as well no sorry inserting an image yeah and there we go so great wells i hope that this is going to help you see the trend that's come through in 2020 2021 and 2022 these papers are available i think you can go to sapapers.co.za and you can download these papers and you can work through them and they'll be an excellent resource not only to test what you can and can't do and to work on those areas but also to prepare you for these type of questions that we've seen come through in 2020 2021 and 2022 and i can almost guarantee um that you will see many of these maybe in different wording but coming through to ask you the exact same thing so all the best for your prax and i hope this is a great resource to help you good luck